Hey guys, Nerdman here. I want to make this quick video, it's not a tutorial of some sort, but more of an answer to the many many comments that I get almost every day. Comments like, why I cannot install Chrome OS, why I get stuck in boot loop or on Chrome OS logo, and so on. Also, this is my first time doing voiceover, and as you can probably hear, I'm kind of nervous about it, so please bear with me. Now, regarding the comments, in 90% of the time the answer is somehow connected to the CPU. Either the CPU is not compatible at all with Chrome OS, like uh, for example Core 2 Duo or first gen processors, or the wrong recovery image was used for installation, I don't know, like using Ramos image for a Celeron processor for example, Th this will not work. To learn more what this actually means, we need to go here at github.com slash sebang slash branch and here at CPU compatibility, we will see that Intel CPUs are compatible starting with Sandy Bridge family. This is the second generation of i-series. And underneath, we see that first generation Intel Core were less supported on um, Chrome OS 81. But if we go here at cross update, we see that the oldest version available is version 83. There is nothing older than 83 here. That means that the first generation is completely out of the game regarding Chrome OS. So you cannot install Chrome OS, the same like with Core 2 Duo and older processors. And speaking also of uh, unsupported hardware, we also see here that Nvidia GPUs, virtual machines and ARM processors are also not supported. But while we cannot do something about ARM processors and virtual machine, you can do something about the NVIDIA GPU issue. If you are on a laptop, this will be done automatically, but uh, if you are on a PC, then you need to disable the graphics card manually before installing or booting in Chrome OS. Another thing that we see here at the CPU compatibility is that uh, Atom, Celeron and Pentium processors are supported as of Batrail family or later. And AMD processor have limited support, but just for Stony Ridge, Bristol Ridge and Ryzen 3rd Gen. Okay, Bristol Ridge and Ryzen 3rd Gen are not mentioned on this page, but you can find them here, along with some misguiding informations about Intel CPUs. Now, I say misguiding because uh, this is no longer accurate, but that doesn't mean that they were not accurate a while ago. As you can see here on this page, Ramos is suggested with uh, starting with the first gen CPUs, but as we established earlier, first gen is no longer supported because of the 81 version being no longer available. In fact, on i-series, for best results, I would suggest starting from 3rd generation using Samus recovery image, uh, for 4th to 9th generation using the Ramus recovery image, and 10th and 11th generation using Voltier image, and for AMD, Grunt image for Stony and Bristol Ridge, and Zorg for Ryzen 3rd gen. So yes, basically 5 images for so many CPUs. But then we uh, ask ourselves, what about all the other CPUs? All the Celerons, all the Atoms and the Pentiums that are supported, uh, how it says here, as of Bay Trail family or later. And especially what about all the other recovery images that they are here? Because as, as we can see here, there are dozens of recovery images and probably here to the right, hundreds of Chromebooks. Now, this actually brings us to the second part of this video, how to find the right recovery image for your CPU. Someone from my Telegram group asked me about what image can he use on his laptop with a Celeron N4020 CPU. So let's take this CPU for example. Here we type the name of CPU, in our case is Celeron N4020 and next to it we type Chromebook and hit enter. Okay, and here we see Acer 314 and this one has our CPU, Celeron N4020. We copy the name, go on a new tab and 
we go to cross dot tech. That's it. Just cross dot tech. And here in this field, we paste our name and we find this. In this case, there are two options, but I guess they are the same. We just click on one of them and there it is. At board, we see Octopus. So Octopus is the right recovery image for Celeron N4020, like Ramos is for port gen CPU, Octopus is for this. And here we have the oldest version from oldest version 83 up until 94, the latest stable version. Now, right now the latest stable is 96, so this will come also soon. You can download it from here or from here. Here is Octopus and here are the recovery versions. Now, if you don't find a Chromebook with your CPU, then you will also not find a recovery image, which means that you most certainly cannot install Chrome OS on your device. Maybe you should focus on something else like an Android OS or Cloud Ready. I don't, really don't like Cloud Ready that much because it doesn't have Play Store, but if nothing else works, then maybe you should try with this. Okay, let's take another example, N2940, also a Celeron. And we follow the same process, Chromebook, and here it is. HP Chromebook 14G4. Copy, paste, and for this one, the recovery image is Kip. Okay, here Kip didn't got a 94 update, it's still at 93, so it will probably be down the here keep 93 i thought that it will be somewhere here the, if you're searching the samus recovery image there it is it's no longer here in the list because samus didn't got a update anymore and they put it here with all the other ones so yes there it is like this you can find the right chrome os recovery image for your cpu of course, this is not the image itself, it's just a bin file. To make this bin file into a disk image, you need to follow the steps from these videos. Also, if you want to make a dual boot system with Windows 11 or Windows 10, then check these videos out. So, I guess that this was it. If you made it so far, then thanks for watching. I hope you found my uh, video useful. And if you did, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future videos. Cheers!